Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to part one of episode 52 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing the Dreamer family, and this consists of Lilith, Dirk, and their daughter Helen. Today is tax day for the Dreamers, and they are going to end up owing taxes. Because they're not married, they didn't get the large married couple tax break, so they do end up owing 300 simoleons in taxes. I'm going to go ahead and load the lot, and I'll give you a quick recap on the family uh, of what happened previously to this family. So Lilith and Dirk went to college together. Dirk failed out of college. He did miserably, and uh, Lilith actually did manage to graduate. They moved in together in the flop house after Lilith graduated, and they lived there for a while. Lilith got pregnant with Helen, and then they finally saved up enough money to buy their own house, one of the little starter houses here on Main Street. Neither one of them has had the desire to get married. They just live together, um, unwedded, with their little daughter, Helen. Okay, here we are in the family's lot, and I do want to talk about a couple things that I've done to the game, and I have added some new mods, so it looks like it's reset everybody. Um, it's 6 a.m. here on Monday morning, so they would be getting out of bed now anyway. But you might notice that Lilith looks a little different, and that's because I started using a different uh, skin tone for my Sims. I'm also using some different default eyes, default makeup, and some default hair and eyebrows. I thought it was about time for my Sims to get an upgrade. Uh, I'm tired of them looking like they just stepped out of 2004. So uh, I did go over some of this in my most recent live stream, but I have changed a few things since then, uh, including the skin and the eyes. The eyes that I was using before looked quite cartoony, and I like these much better. You can see Lilith's beautiful green eyes, and this hair is just gorgeous on her. I love it. I think she looks wonderful. And let's go take a look at uh, Dirk and see how he looks. Look how cute he looks with his new hairstyle, his new eyes. Um, the skin is supposed to be different. I can't really tell that much of a difference. We'll have to see how it looks on other Sims, but he looks quite handsome with his new look. I really like that. And then even little Helen is going to look different. So I'm slowly going through and getting the hair replaced. So we might see a few funky looking townies or maybe some, even some of our playable Sims. I'm trying to get down here. Let's go into camera mode so we can see little Helen. So we're just gonna ignore that and I'll fix uh, everybody whenever I can. But look at Helen, oh my goodness. She's so cute. Look at those eyes and that hair. So I'm really happy with how this is going so far. Like I said, we might have some strange looking Sims because I'm not quite done with the hair replacements. Um, but I just wanted to explain why our Sims look different here before we start playing. Now that that's out of the way, let's get down to business. The family has just purchased this home here on Main Street. It's a two bedroom. It's it's kind of small. I'm sure you're familiar with this house if you know Pleasant View. Um, if you don't, this is just one of the standard Maxis houses and it's a little funky this uh, top floor but I like the house it's not too bad uh, especially for a starter for this family. Now Dirk is actually doing very well in his job. He is level seven even though he didn't graduate from college and he shouldn't even be able to get to level seven he was able to make it there through chance cards and various connections so he's doing quite well he makes 924 simoleons a day actually a little bit more than that with his salary bonus. Lilith works in the athletic career, which she likes because it allows her to get out a lot of her aggression. She's only level three. Uh, she makes 322 simoleons a day. So they are going to be able to accumulate money pretty quickly. Somebody needs to pay the taxes, but the family does not have a computer. So I think the first thing we're going to do is buy them a computer. And we can put it right down here in the dining room. It's not ideal, but it'll work for now. Okay, I just bought the family a very cheap desk and chair and computer, and that took all of their money. The cheapest computer, hacked computer that I have is 1,000 simoleons. So that took everything they had. I really want them to save money so we can remodel this house and make it a lot nicer, or maybe even buy a bigger house. It depends on if they're gonna wanna have more kids or not. Looks like Lilith wants to woohoo in bed though, so I'm gonna lock that in for her. And Dirk wants to gain skills and earn money. Uh, he does not have the extra want slots because he didn't graduate from college. But I'm going to have one of them. I guess I'll have Dirk come down here and go ahead and pay the taxes. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. I was, si I was sitting Dirk down at the computer to have him 
pay the taxes, which now they can no longer afford to pay. So they owe 300 simoleons, and I am going to keep a note of that so that when they get home from work, they can pay that. Uh, they obviously can't pay it now since they bought the computer. <laughs> So they're just going to work on the house this morning. They're both going to go off to work. Let's see. Dirk has to be at work at 8 a.m. Lilith has to be at work at 9. And that means we're going to need a babysitter. And I don't know if they have hired a babysitter or not. Helen's going to age up in one day. So I assume they probably have hired a nanny already. Um, I don't know if Helen has been potty trained, but I think I'm going to have Lilith come up and take her to the potty. Oh, after she empties it. And it sounds like the carpool is here. Oh, yeah, she's been potty trained. She's using the potty all by herself. So we don't have to worry about that. She wants to learn to walk and talk. I don't know if we're going to make it. Um, Lilith has to be at work. She's going to be leaving in like 30 minutes. And what's she doing? Oh, she's going to tickle her. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I'm just going to select her and select teach to walk. And I don't remember if they had been working on this before. So let's see how much progress she's made. As soon as we can see her little uh, meter above her head. Oh, she's about halfway there, but I don't think she's going to make it in time. They can try to work on it some when Lilith gets home from work. I think Lilith gets home at 3 p.m. So they have a little bit of time, but I don't think she's going to make it. While Lilith was at work today, we got a chance card for her. It says during warm-ups, Lilith noticed that one of the start notices that one of the starting players has forgotten his knee brace on the practice field. Without the brace, the first stringer will surely re-injure himself. As a bench warmer, Lilith should make a good impression by returning the brace to him, or she could hide the brace since she'd be the next in line for this position. <laughs> I think Lilith would probably hide the brace so she could get the position. Let's see what happens. She's fired on the spot. Oh my goodness, Lilith. Wow. She sneaks over to the knee brace and deftly stuffs it in her gym bag. She looks around to make sure no one's looking and heads to a nearby garage bin to dispose of the specialized brace. Lilith heads back to the locker room to suit up for the game, but just when it looks like she's gotten away with it, in walks the manager and the starting player holding his knee brace, which appears to have become entangled with a discarded banana peel. Lilith is fired on the spot. Wow, Lilith. I think she's been fired several times now. Oh, look at her. I'm so sorry, Lilith. Oh my goodness. Uh, you made a bad decision there. <laughs> or I made it for you. Let's look at her memories because I believe she's been fired several times. Oh no, she hasn't. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I really thought that she... Oh, yeah, she has. She has. She got fired here. I didn't think I was making that up. She got in a lot of fights. She got fired here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, she got demoted. She got demoted and she got fired. She finally got hired back and now she's fired again. Poor Lilith. Um, things just aren't working out for her as far as a career. She just can't seem to get along with other Sims. And they've given her a second chance already. I don't know if she's going to be able to get her job back after this. So now she's doing quite poorly now. Um, her fun is all the way down. Her social's all the way down. She's just not doing well. She wants to be friends with Darren. Maybe I'll have her call him up if she can and try to get her social up. Um, while she's out here, I'm just going to have her pick up this stuff in the yard because it's really gross. Oh, she's crying. Oh, I feel so bad for her. But ultimately, it's her fault that she keeps getting fired because she keeps just fighting with people and doing stuff that's not completely honorable, <laughs> like stealing the guy's brace. <laughs> Okay, we can dismiss the nanny. Oh, don't end services. She didn't even get paid either. Oh my gosh, we have to uh, dismiss the nanny. Hopefully we have enough to pay her. Oh no, we don't have enough to pay her. What's she going to do? 
What did she take? Did she take our porch light? Okay, that's fine. You can have the porch light. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Anna, we'll send Lilith inside and we'll take care of some of her needs and try to get her feeling better. Okay, why didn't the nanny leave? Okay, she's going now. Since she needs both social and fun right now, I'm going to have her come upstairs and play with Helen. That's got to cheer her up. She does love her daughter very much. Lilith might not be the nicest sim in the world, but she really loves Darren and she really loves Helen. And uh, so she's going to come upstairs and play with her. Maybe. I sent her up here to play with her. <laughs> I guess she's going to pick up Helen. Well, she's going to come see her daughter either way. Helen is really tired, so she might be putting her to bed. Okay, why don't we put Helen to bed? And Helen is going to be aging up here in about uh, four hours. And I don't know if Dirk is going to make it home. Yeah, he'll be here. So as soon as Dirk gets home, we'll start preparing for Helen's birthday. In the meantime, I'm going to send Lilith downstairs to watch some TV and unwind and try to get her fun up a little bit. Maybe she and Dirk can woohoo later uh, to get her social and some more fun up. It's so sad. She's walking around with, like, her head down. I'm so sad for her. I do have a soft spot for Lilith, even though she causes a lot of her own problems. Okay, it's 4 p.m. and Dirk just returned home. He brought home 1,191 simoleons. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Which they needed very much. I'm very happy about that, especially since Lilith didn't get paid today. Um, she is going to tuck in the baby. And Dirk is going to come in. They're going to start getting ready for the birthday party. I'm going to go ahead and buy a birthday cake here for our little birthday girl. And I'm actually, I don't know where to put it. I think I'll put it in here in the kitchen or in the dining room, I mean, and see if we can get everybody gathered around here instead of crammed into the kitchen. Dirk is going to go and throw her party, and I normally don't throw parties for toddlers, but I kind of want to so that we can invite the grandparents over now. So let's call, uh, oops, not call, throw party, and we're going to invite over Daniel and Mary Sue and Brandy and Darren and see who we can get to come over. Okay, well, it looks like somebody's going to come over uh, and somebody's not, so we'll see who shows up. And I really want to have Dirk go and comfort Lilith, which he is going, going to go congratulate her. What's he going to congratulate her on? Losing her job? Congratulations, honey, for getting demoted. Look, well, grandpas are here. Darren and uh, Daniel are here. So the grandpas showed up. Uh, Mary Sue did not show up, which doesn't surprise me because Lilith does not make her feel welcome in their family at all. Uh, but Dirk tried. He did try. But Mary Sue was like, I'm not going to show up over there and get slapped in the face by Lilith again. So I want Dirk to, I think he would really come and like give her a hug because she's doing very, very bad, poorly after she got fired. Aww. Isn't that sweet? Okay, but Grandpa Daniel and Grandpa Darren are here. Let's go downstairs and greet them. And then we'll bring the baby to the cake. Now, I'm going to go ahead and freeze time as well uh, until we can get her down here because I don't want to miss her aging up. All right, so Dirk and Lilith should be on their way downstairs now. Daniel's just going to help himself to the fridge. And I had Dirk go and greet uh, Darren and Angela, or I'm, I called her Angela, Lilith go and greet Daniel. Now Lilith does have a good relationship with her father because they live together in the flop house. They are actually best friends now. Um, she wants to be friends with, with Darren. She really likes him. Uh, she has a cup. She has, wow, look, she is like ultimate enemies with Abhijit. She lived with him in the flop house and they used to fight all the time. Um, she has a lot of friends, surprisingly. Uh, she's a good friend when she likes you. When she doesn't like you, watch out. 
And I just wanted to see her relationship with Mary Sue. I know it's got to be way down here. She also hates Don Lothario, even though she has three bolts with him. And she hates her sister, and she hates her mother, and she hates this guy, and also this guy. (laughs) I don't know who those people are. She even hates this dog. And Lisa Ramirez. She does not care for her either. So she's got a lot of friends and a lot of enemies. Lilith is a volatile sim. Uh, (laughs) But she's very fun to play. Okay, so now that everybody's here, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna actually have Lilith go up and get the baby. Oh, she just jumped out by herself. So bring Helen to the cake. Don't go out and play ball right now. (laughs) All right, come on, get out of the way. (laughs) Get out of the way, Darren. Okay, she's going upstairs to get the baby. And here she comes with the baby. Oh, they can't get to the cake right there. Okay, I'm going to have to put it on the counter. I'm going to move it. Oh, I have to wait till she's finished griping about it. Oh, no, she did it. Okay, never mind. She did it. So I'm just going to swing the camera over here, and I'm trying to move it more slowly. uh, And so we can watch her age up and blow out the candles. Okay, I get it, Dustin. Jeez. Come on, Grandpa. Grandpa Darren and Grandpa Daniel. And you can also see their new hairstyles, which look very nice on them. And I think this is going to continue to do this uh, pop-up because it's the time that I stopped. Oh, it's so cute. Oops. I can't get any further back or we'll be in the in the stairs. <laughs> There she goes, blowing out her candles. <laughs> oh, these pop-ups are driving me crazy. I guess I can un- go ahead and unfreeze time now. Oh, here she goes. Oh, and of course, it's blocked. I seriously need to make a compilation of all the times. Oh, she's adorable. Look at her. Okay, we've got to get a close-up shot of that adorable face. And I'm going to... Oh, my gosh. Unfreeze time. Unfreeze time. Please. Okay, Helen has grown into a child. As a toddler, Helen achieved the aspiration level of little wonder. That's pretty good. With a little hard work, life could get even better. Now, I cannot wait to really get a good look at her. She's got the most adorable little hair. I love these new hairs that I have in the game. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I can't wait to see uh, what kind of clothes she's wearing. Uh, It looks like she's wearing one of those little Maxis t-shirts. So I'm going to let her eat her cake and we'll just watch her here. I'll just go into camera mode so we can really see her. She is really cute. She looks a lot like Dirk. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't I don't think she has Angela's nose. I don't know whose nose she has. So the party was going fine. All of a sudden, Angela just walked in and started booing at Lilith. I don't know where she came from or why she thinks she can crash this party. She also got herself a new hairstyle. Look how pretty she looks with that. I love that on her. Good choice, Angela. Now, let's hope that she doesn't get in a fight with Lilith. Oh, yeah. Angela came over to attack Lilith at her daughter's birthday party. Really good. Really good, uh, Angela. That's horrible. Okay. Oh, no. She's going to be poked. She just came out of nowhere. She was not invited to this party. And now I'm so worried about little Helen. Um, She's going to watch fight. Oh, my gosh. Where is she? She ran across the street. She ran across the street. She's so upset about her mom. Look at this. Look at that. She's so upset about her mom and her aunt fighting. Okay, this cannot happen. This poor, Helen's poor birthday. Okay, Dirk, you've got to turn around here and do something about this. Okay? We've got to ask Angela to leave. Um, She is ruining Helen's birthday party. I can't believe this. There was a reason why we didn't invite you, Angela, because this was going to happen. And now we've upset Helen. Everybody's like, what's going on? 
Okay. Dirk's like, I love you, sister-in-law, but you've got to go. Oh, look at this. And then Helen's like, are you okay, mom? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we got through that, and now Helen's going to dance with her grandpa. <laughs> Lilith! Lilith is getting freaky over here. This is just so bizarre. And she just became friends with her uh, grandpa, Daniel. That's nice. I'm glad that she's close to her grandpa, Daniel, but she doesn't know Grandpa Darren very well. Okay, these two. I don't know. I guess the fighting really got Lilith in the mood. So she wants to make a friend, so let's have her talk to uh, Darren. Oh, no, don't control Darren. Let's have her chat with Darren. We've got about a minute left in the birthday party. Um, it's been a good time somehow. It, we managed to have a good time even though Angela showed up and started trouble. I just cannot get over how cute Helen is. And I want to look at Lilith's head like right next to her. I don't think she got Lilith's nose. I think she got Di she got Dirk's nose. She totally got Dirk's nose. So she looks a lot like Dirk. What a cute little hair style she has. And Lilith's just going to town on that cake. <laughs> okay, um, Helen is, is stuck in the door. That was strange. Now, let's have her come inside. And we're going to have to redo her room because right now it's a little baby's room. And she doesn't even have a bed. Um, I'm going to have her go in her parents' room and change into her everyday outfit. So we can see what she's wearing and what her favorite color is. And then we can make over her room. So here she comes upstairs. The birthday party's just about over. And then Darren and uh, Daniel will be going home. Okay, so what she's wearing <laughs> is awful. And the birthday party was a good time, so we got through it. We got through it. There's always drama in this family. And Dirk is gain gaining fame. Um, but this outfit <laughs> doesn't match at all. I want to have her... Uh, Let's change into, or let's plan outfit, her everyday outfit, and see if there's anything in the closet that she could wear that would look better than this. Okay, there's nothing, there's no separate, so let's look for an outfit. Okay, there's this little outfit. I don't really know where that came from, and I haven't ever seen any of my Sims wearing that. So she can totally wear that. Oh, that is cute. I wonder if that's her formal wear. Let's see. Um, I'm, I'm going to do Gussie up so we can look at all of her clothing. Check clothes. It's probably her formal wearer. We'll see if she puts it on twice. Yep, it's her formal. Okay, we're going to get her a new outfit then. And you can see all of her cute little clothes. All right, uh, we will have Lilith take her to the store. And I think Lilith is off work tomorrow. Oh, of course she's off work because she was fired. <laughs> so tomorrow, Lilith will take Helen to the clothing store. She'll just have to wear her fancy clothes for now. We'll take her to the clothing store and get her a new outfit. We could shop online, but I, I kind of want, want them to go somewhere. And then maybe they'll stop by the coffee shop as well. For now, I'm going to go ahead and make over um, Helen's room. And we're going to say that her favorite color is green because she did age up into a green shirt. So I'm going to give her a green room. Okay, I spent all of the family's money <laughs> to remodel Helen's room. Um, I wasn't able to do very much, but I was able to get her a bed, a shelf, a nightstand, a toy box. And we also got her a wardrobe, dresser, and a closet. 
So that was about all I could do. I didn't even have enough for a rug or any paintings on the wall. So as the family gets more money, we will personalize this room more and we're going to be making over the entire house. Dirk makes a lot of money every day. Now uh, that Lilith doesn't have a job anymore, it's going to be a little tougher, but I think we should still be able to give them some furnishings. And I'm surprised that Dirk hasn't wanted to buy anything yet. He mostly just wants to work on his skills, even though he's a fortune sim. But I guess that's how he, so he can get more promotions. Uh, let's t bring Helen upstairs, or she's already upstairs. Let's bring her over here and see how she likes her new room. I gave her this green and purple theme, which I think really suits her. Um, she seems to like both green and purple based on her clothing choices. And of course, she's just going to dive right in and start playing with her toys. <laughs> so I'm just going to get the family ready for bed now. They're going to take care of their needs, go to sleep. And then tomorrow, while Dirk is at work, after Helen gets home from school, she and Lilith are going to go to town and go to the clothing store and maybe even go to the coffee shop as well. It's 3 p.m. and Helen just got home from school. Lilith has been spending the day just lounging around and cleaning. She took a long bath. She did a crossword puzzle. She's just been having a great day enjoying her time off work. And it looks like Helen brought home Whitney Broke. And oh, we can look at Whitney's new hair while she's here. Oh, don't you look cute, Whitney. It's very similar to her old hair, just in our new uh, hairstyle. And look at her little eyes and eyebrows. Oh, she looks so much cuter. I'm just going to have to look at all my Sims. I can't believe how much better they look. Um, so she brought her home from school to play. And it looks like Lilith is preparing something to eat. So after they, after Lilith finishes cooking and Helen and Whitney play for a little bit, then the two of them will go ahead and go to town because... Helen really needs some new clothes. She's wearing her fancy dress to school, and I'd like to get her a more casual outfit. Lilith made salad for the girls. That's nice of her. Um, Lilith is feeling a lot better, and she doesn't have any desire to get her job back or to get another job at all. All she wants to do is woohoo and max out the logic skill. And check this out. She has level 9 in logic. I don't know how she has managed that. Um, she has all that logic, but she can't figure out how to not get in a fight with her family. <laughs> so anyway, she wants to max out the logic skill. She wants to woohoo in bed, and she wants to toss the football around. It might be nice for her to toss the football around with Helen. And I don't think we know what Helen's hobby is. Um, let's check and see. I don't remember. No, we do not. So she could be a sports sim just like her mom. And now Dirk is home from work, so he can go with them to town. Uh, he's going to come in and probably get something to eat. No, he's not hungry. So he'll put this food away. And we're going to have to tell Whitney that she's going to have to go home, unfortunately. Um, because Helen is going out with her parents. So after she finishes eating the family salad, <laughs> Helen is going to say goodbye to her. So we can all go out. She wants to uh, be friends with Whitney, so I'm going to lock that in. I think that would be a great idea for her to be friends with Whitney. Now, Whitney is a little bit younger than Helen, but uh, they're not in the same generation, but they can still be friends, especially if that's what Helen wants. She obviously likes Whitney because she invited her home from school. Are you just going to put that salad right there on the floor? <laughs> and where did Dirk and Lilith go? Oh, my. Oh. Okay, they went upstairs to woohoo. <laughs> that kind of throws a wrench in our plan of going out. Um, they went upstairs to woohoo all on their own. So that is ACR working. And I guess guess Lilith just didn't want to wait anymore for her woohoo in bed. I was going to let her do it later, but she's like, no, now. And I wouldn't have sit, sent Whitney home if I would have known they were going to do that. So here they go. Now, we are using ACR and Risky Woohoo, so there is a chance that Lilith could get pregnant. She is still in her prime fertile years. She is 34 years old and Dirk is 35. So, that's always a possibility for them. Um, instead of going to sleep, though, they're going to wake up so the family can go to the clothing store and go to the coffee shop. So, everybody get out of bed. <laughs> Stop your afternoon delight. Let's get dressed and head out to town. 
Well, here we are at the clothing store and Dirk did get paid. So we now have $1,291 to work with to buy the family some clothes. It is winter time now and Lilith is wearing, still wearing this uh, open shoulder shirt thing. So I think it's about time for her to get something warmer. She's going to shop for both her and Helen. Uh, Dirk looks like he's appropriately dressed for the winter time. So we'll let him keep his sweatshirt and jeans outfit that he has on. I'm going to send Lilith inside to go shop. And she's going to buy um, an everyday shirt for herself or maybe an outfit. We'll see. We'll find something that suits her. Okay, Lilith and Helen are finished clothing shopping. And here is Lilith's new outfit. She got this leather jacket with the uh, animal print collar. This jacket I got in one of my most recent custom content shopping videos. And I think it's just perfect for Lilith, especially for winter time. And then we had to get her some new jeans too because her other jeans were low rise and her booty was showing. So we had to get her some new jeans to go with that. And I just got her the same style in a different wash with those same boots that she likes. And then for little Helen, let me get over here so I can show you her outfit. Actually, let's, let's make her move a little bit over here. Uh, I got her this cute little jeans and shirt. Uh, it's green and purple, her two favorite colors. And I think it looks adorable on her. And I just love her dark blue eyes, just like her dad. So there's her new outfit. She and Lilith are ready to go for winter. Now it's getting kind of late, it's 7 p.m. So the family's gonna go ahead and go over to the coffee shop because Lilith really wants to get an espresso before they go back home. Okay, and we've just arrived here at the coffee shop and we built this coffee shop in my last uh, Pleasant View live stream that I do on Sundays. We built most of it and I went back in and got some more custom content and finished it. It looks very nice at nighttime. I think I might need to get another light out here, but uh, this is the new Pleasant View coffee shop and I'll show you the inside as well. Let me go here. And so here is the upper floor. Um, it's kind of like a lounge where the Sims can go and hang out and read, uh, drink their coffee. And then downstairs we have a nice little cafe area. We have some bakery shelves that are empty and that's because this might become an ownable lot for any of my Sims that want to own a business. Right now they're just selling espresso. They just opened up and they don't have the bakery part yet, but they are selling coffee. Um, so I'm going to have Lilith come on in and of course she wants to buy an espresso. Oh, she wants to buy one for somebody else. So she's going to buy a coffee for Dirk. And I'm so excited to see the lot in action. We do have the indie radio station playing in here. We have these lovely menus back here and we have two uh, NPCs here that work here. Who is that? Oh, that's Bo Broke? Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice him. I didn't even recognize him. He looks so much different. He looks a lot nicer with this new hair, brows, and eyes. I didn't even know it was him. How good does he look, guys? Such an interesting face shape. I actually think he looks a lot more handsome now. I used to think he was ugly, but now I just think he looks interesting. So anyway, back to Lilith. She's supposed to be in here buying an espresso. Um, okay. Did she buy it? I don't know. This place is packed with Sims. Everybody in Pleasant View is so excited uh, to be able to come and hang out at a coffee shop because the town has never had anything like this before. All right, Lilith finally made her way inside to purchase a coffee for Dirk. And let's see if Dirk wants to do anything coffee related. Nope, he doesn't care. He's like, I'll go wherever you guys go. Um, she wants to make out with him and kiss him, but he got himself a coffee. Look at that. <laughs> I have to say, I think this lot is a success. I haven't seen uh, very many routing errors or any actually yet. Um, I think people are upstairs hanging out. Yeah, Helen is upstairs talking to old Sandy Broody, who actually looks a lot prettier now, too, that she has new hair and skin. I can see the difference in the skin now. I definitely can. Um, so, yeah, Helen's hanging out with Sandy Broody upstairs. Lilith is 
not getting along with this guy. And now making out with Dirk. <laughs> they love to make out publicly. And it looks like Dirk has the jitters from his espresso. So it might be time for the family to go home. It's about 10 p.m. And Dirk has had enough coffee. Uh, I don't know why Lilith wanted to bring him here and pump him full of coffee. <laughs> Maybe she wants him ready to go when they get home. <laughs> so they're going to go home for the night now. Well, the Dreamers just got back home from the coffee shop and I realized that I forgot to have them pay their taxes. So I'm going to have Dirk go and pay the taxes now. And then we're going to roll secondary aspirations for Lilith and Dirk, which we also have not done. So let's have him go and, oops, don't shop online. We need to bank online. Bank online and transmit money to bank accounts. Okay, I also had Dirk go ahead and pay the bills while he was there. They only have 285 simoleons left. And we're going to we're gonna not roll. I was about to say roll. We are going to calculate the secondary aspirations for bo both Dirk and Lilith. So I just want to look at their aspirations now. Okay, he definitely has a point, And let's make sure Lilith has a point to spare. She does. So I'm going to do Lilith first. And I'll be right back with the results. Here are the results for Lilith. After calculating all of her interest points on the secondary aspiration calendar, calendar calculator, she is going to be a secondary pleasure. Uh, that is her highest scoring aspiration. Uh, her second highest was popularity, so that works out really well. I am going to go ahead and give that to her now. And she's going to be a secondary pleasure. I think that really makes sense for Lilith. That It really seems to suit her. So now let's do Dirk. And here are the results for Dirk. After calculating all of his interest points, he's also going to be a secondary pleasure. That makes a lot of sense. I, now I understand why he and Lilith get along so well. They both like the pleasurable things in life. They both like to play games and go out and have fun and just enjoy their lives. So they are both secondary pleasure sims. I love that. That just makes a lot of sense for them. Okay, so now that's all out of the way. Hopefully we'll see more of their pleasure wants uh, start to come out in the coming days. Let's see what they're, what they're up to here. Oh, they're going to flirt suggestively and hold hands. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's check on little Helen while they're doing that. She still wants to be friends with Whitney. Uh, she wants to talk to Whitney. It's still pretty early in the evening, so I'm going to have her go and call Whitney. Paul Whitney is the only little girl she knows. And then I thought we would do a refresher on little Helen's personality because I don't even really remember that well what her personality is. We didn't get to play with her very much last time. And we can look at her cute little face while we do it. So she is a an Aries, actually. So she is going to be a popularity sim just like her mom. And that makes a lot of sense. I think she is going to be quite pretty when she ages up. So she's probably going to have no problem making friends. She's extremely outgoing. She's quite neat, active, kind of on the serious side, and also not very nice, also like her mom. She doesn't have a lot in common with her mom, except for they're both not all that nice. <laughs> they're both kind of active, but uh, Helen is way more active Way less active and way more outgoing, I mean. And she didn't get much from her dad either. She's just kind of her own person, and I really like that. The only thing is, she's a popularity sim, but she doesn't take any crap, just like Lilith. <laughs> and I guess Lilith is teaching her that. Maybe from watching, she's watching, been watching her mom fight with her aunt. Okay, so little Helen's going to go to bed, and then I'm going to get these two taken care of and send them to bed as well. It's 11 o'clock at night, and everybody's going to bed here in the Dreamer household on Tuesday night. Um, after everybody was out tonight, another day did pass. So Dirk is now 36 years old, Lilith is 35, and little Helen is 6 years old. Oh, I'm going to slow this down here while I finish up. So we're going to go ahead and end part one of this episode here. Um, a lot did happen in these two days. Little Helen aged up to be an adorable child who looks so much like her dad. I can't wait to see what she's going to look like as she gets older. And uh, we found out she has a personality kind of similar to her mother in that she's not that nice. Also, we got the family's money taken care of. Everybody went out to the new Pleasant View coffee shop, which was a hit. All of the locals love going there. And we rolled for, I keep saying rolled, we calculated for the second secondary aspirations and found out that both Lilith and Dirk are secondary pleasure sims, which makes perfect sense to me. I love it. 
So in the next part of this episode, I don't really know what's going to happen. Maybe Helen will make friends with Whitney. Maybe uh, Lilith will get pregnant if her and Dirk keep on woohooing like they are. <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out next. And I know a lot of people have asked about a wedding for Lilith and Dirk. They are not going to be having a wedding unless one of them rolls the desire to. Uh, neither of them have ever had any want to get engaged or get married. They just like living together as a little family. They don't want, I don't think Lilith really feels the need for that level of commitment. She knows that Dirk loves her and she's unlike her sister who wanted a big fancy church wedding. Lilith doesn't want any of that. They just want to live together and be happy. So that's what they're going to do. And if one of them rolls a want to get engaged or married, then I'll have them do it. If not, it's their life. That's the way I play. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you with part two of this episode very soon. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest where I'm pinning all of my favorite custom content. Thanks again for watching.